Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at a team that I decided to play based on the Pokemon and teams that I kept on encountering. I saw a lot of steals in the lead and um, Ghosts, especially Trevenant, was very common in the back. And because it's not really in too good of a position, there were very rare or very rarely charm Pokemon and that gives us a, an option to run Umbreon, Umbreon being a pretty tanky dark type and the most common counter fighting Pokemon is Medicham and Medicham receiving neutral damage from the foul place and often having Ice Punch and Psychic not really being able to deal lots of damage with the charge moves so uh, it's a pretty decent matchup for Umbreon considering that it is kinda a counter so yeah we have Didi with counter Psycho Boost, Thunderbolt, then we have Noctowl with Sky Attack, Shadow Ball and uh, Wing Attack as a fast move and Umbreon with Snarl, Foul Play and last resort. We lead into a Steel Hype, Ghost Type in the back, Sableye. I immediately switch into the Noctowl right here and then my opponent throws. I know that this cannot be the return yet, so I do decide to no shield. I farm up a little bit more and then I'm throwing my sky attack. To my surprise, my opponent shielded. And that means I will have to shield as well. But I don't really I don't really mind. This gives me a little bit more farm. And uh, I expected them to uh, lock on me down anyway. So, yeah. This is pretty fine. And because lock on does so little damage. And Noctowl has a, quite a high attack stat. Uh, attack stat. HP stat. We're able to reach two Shadow Balls. And look how low we got this Registeel. Um, now they probably... Throw a zap cannon. I do decide to shield up. In comes a Noctowl. And right here, I go for a Thunderbolt. Um, in hindsight, or when I did it, I felt like, well, maybe I should have just gone for the Psycho Boost. Um, I think I am still going to be fine. We have Noctowl, which is a neutral tank, being able to take these sky attacks very well. Opponent goes for the second. We. Make sure to have good timing on our fast move right here, uh, on our charge move. Don't want to give your opponent extra turns. Opponent also having good timing. Well done by them. And right here my opponent decides to catch the move. Um, I think I would have had to throw a charge move at this anyway. So I don't really mind. And yeah, in comes... They're knocked all again. We're gonna psycho boost them. It's barely not enough to knock them out, but the next counter that we just got in will do it. Shadow Ball not gonna be enough. GG. Next game, DD into Swampert. This is an okay matchup for DD. It can easily take the move. Um, but since you only have psycho boost to hit it for neutral damage, you're gonna debuff yourself. And I'll let the Hydro Cannon go for the psycho boost, and then I switch out to clear the debuff. In comes. Powder Snow A9. And it's a shadow. So it's going to do 20% more as well as receive 20% more. And right here, I do decide to shield up because I feel like it's it's likely that my opponent goes for the Dazzling Gleam. Um, because they know how well I can tank a Weather Ball. And I felt like I'm going to get to at least uh, one more last resort. And right here, I make the decision to... Just double shield and then farm it down. I'm down a shield, but uh, I have half an Umbreon and quite some energy. So pretty decent trade-off. Here I go into my D, uh, D again. We throw a Psycho Boost. Pwn lets it go. In comes their Swampert. And they do let me get to a move. I don't know, don't know why. I don't mind. They are over farming a lot, I guess. But no, they are really low. And I expected them to immediately throw the move, which is why I didn't go for my own charge move. I know that they win the charge move priority. And therefore I got an extra snarl in. And yeah, right here, I just... Even though they have a shield, I have way more HP. And we're going to be able to gonna be able to knock him out surely right I do decide to go for the charge move maybe I sh shouldn't 
Maybe I should not, but uh, yeah, they let it go. They know it's over. Next up, we have a DD mirror. And right here, I'm building up. And then I'm trying to catch a move there, but they instead switch out into Shadow Granbull. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate, but Umbreon being incredible tanky. We are able to get to two moves and my opponent decides to shield. I think they would have not survived it, so uh, they probably had to shield there. Right here we framed up and I miss out on my fast move. A little unfortunate. One goes for the crunch. We get the debuff, that is very unfortunate, so we take more damage than we probably should. And in comes a really tough opponent playing DD Double Charm. Not really too common anymore. Don't think it's uh, necessarily a great team. I'm gonna go for the second Thunderbolt right here. They still have their DD in the back. And I don't know why, but they let me get to this move as well. And uh, yeah, I think right here they <laughs> did decide that they might have screwed it up. Um, me having the Noctowl in the back with energy as well as a shield. Um, yeah, I would get to a... I would get to a move. Shadow Ball as well as a Sky Attack. So, yeah. They decided, well, mistakes on my end. And <laughs> they probably force closed the app or something. Threw the phone across the room. You never know. I don't have a camera in their room. All right, next, knocked out lead. This matchup, I'm not exactly sure how I want to play it. Often my opponent uh, seems to be building up and then throwing at 8 to CMP tie. This opponent even baited, which uh, is um, pretty crazy. And right here I was hoping that they would do the same thing again, build up to till I have the move and then CMP tie me. And this is what they did. We end up catching a Shadow Ball, which is uh, exactly what I intended to do. Right here I <laughs> do a mistake, I have bad timing. And there's the Medicham. As I said, it's not the greatest answer to Umbreon. Because, as you can see, it, it takes a lot of damage. Even though it is quite tanky. And the Ice Punches are only tickling. They even have to throw another move right here. Otherwise I would have gotten to the last foul play. And I don't really want to take Ice Punches on my Noctowl, so I'd rather go into the Medicham. Uh, into the Medicham, into the DD. Also takes uh, resisted damage from the counters instead of neutral. On brings in Noctowl. We're switching out right here. Since we are debuffed. I'm gonna let it go. And right here we go for a sky attack. This would bring opponent's Pokemon Noctowl really low. And I do decide to shield it up. And there's a Swampert in the back. Uh, it is however normal Swampert. And I think normal Swampert, the downside, it's not able to two-shot Noctowl, and we are able to survive the move right here. Um, yeah, we're not really in a position where they can really farm us down. They have to throw again. They build up to double. I expect their, them to throw right there. So, therefore, I switched into DD preemptively. And yeah, now it's just over. I have a move on my, on my Noctowl. They have to throw right here. They can't double up. And... Their Noctowl has less HP than mine, so it is just gonna get farmed down. Close game, but we got there in the end. Next up, Medicham in the lead. This Medicham, you usually have to throw some Thunderbolts, because you don't want to debuff yourself right away. Bone throws an Ice Punch. This matchup always is very awkward to play from the Medicham side. Opponent shielded the Thunderbolt. They're going for another Ice Punch. We do throw a Thunderbolt again, and after this, I will most likely go for a Psycho Boost. Opponent decides to throw another move, and then they're trying to counter me down, but they ain't. They ain't successful with that, so we get to a basically 1 HP move, knock him out. We win the 0 versus 1 shield versus Melcham. 
And in comes Volvain. We are very happy that we want switch advantage right here. We do not want our Noctowl against the Volvain. So we instead have the Mur right here. And now we're just gonna invest our shields on the Armbron. And we're gonna be fine. Um, to be honest, opponent could could quit the game right here. It's uh, it's pretty over. It is pretty over. They have basically no no win condition anymore. So uh, I don't I don't know why they're staying in. I don't know why they're staying in. They're doing it, however, prolonging the game. I've had that a lot recently. Um, people that are staying in in matchups where they have absolutely no shot, having their Trevenant locked in against my uh, Umbreon and then me having a DD, basically full a DD back uh, as a second Pokemon against their Bastodon and having s same shields. Like, I don't really know what uh, they're thinking. And yeah, <laughs> now they gave up. <laughs> Could have also top left it a minute earlier, but uh, well, we got the W in the end, 5-0. Uh, very nice. I uh, really enjoyed this team. Uh, it felt very flexible. All these Pokemon have a lot of play against uh, almost everything in the meta. And uh, yeah, it's just three good Pokemon. So uh, definitely something that you can play. Um, I encountered a lot of um, uh, Lantern Double Ghost with Trevenant and Sableye. And that's especially a reason why I built this team. Uh, also, there's Bastiodon, Victory Bell, Trevenant. Also a reason why I decided to go for this, because this team beats both of them very convincingly. Uh, basically, they don't really have a shot. So, yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Wish you good luck in your own battles. And goodbye.